Look, I just sent you a friend request. There's a newfound brotherhood in the city of Richmond. No, seriously, set that up with your attorney because I'd love that. Richmond business owner Marquise Rose and Richmond police officer Christopher Shore formed a friendship four days ago during protests in the city. Something told me just to show the world, get on Facebook and show them all of the uh, issues that happened that night. I'm in my home city, downtown Richmond, Virginia. Rose says he made his way to Lombardi Street. This is where they broke into the Starbucks. Where several stores have been looted and damaged. But then you got people that do stuff like this. This is not, this is not protesting. So I just went up and just struck up a conversation with them. The way that it works is we will operate off what they call a continuum of force, okay? Rose yeah, says once the conversation early. started, his views began to change. As we began to talk, the audience came around and we was just still having conversation. And I was like, wow, every officer is not the same. And it was great because that they asked all these direct questions. What our use of force policy was, what restraining techniques we used. His video recorded on Facebook Live reached thousands of people and was shared hundreds of times. We already don't do chokeholds. We already don't do a maneuver that puts our knee on somebody's neck. We already police each other as in if we see an officer getting upset or is getting emotional on the scene we remove him from that. Every officer is not a bad officer and I want people to know that whether they're black, white, Hispanic, whatever color but at the same time there are some bad officers out there and those officers need to be identified, removed from the streets or as we say retrain officers with people like Officer Shore hopefully can train them. <laughs> Both men want the community to know that it's possible for police and the people they serve to communicate and understand one another better. We need more brotherhood. Absolutely. We, and I know he's a, uh, a Caucasian male and I'm an African American male, but the community starts here. It's not Absolutely. about color, and that's what we need today. Absolutely. Now, both men hope their conversation can spread across the country and encourage other communities to do the same. Meanwhile, several localities here in Virginia have had law enforcement join their protest. Working for you tonight in Richmond, I'm Matthew Foltz, CBS 6 News.